Hello and good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sunrise Yoga Project. Here with me, Kevin Height, in beautiful Sayulit, Mexico. Again, the Sunrise Yoga Project is the truly gentle way to start your day, where we do gentle yoga and meditation to help us feel good and have a great day. So thanks again for joining me, and we'll get started. So please find a comfortable seat. If you're new to Sunrise Yoga, we start every class with a just gentle meditation. And if you are a Sunrise Yogi regular, then welcome back to your seat. I like to sit on a pillow or a bolster to keep my hips up a little bit higher than my knees. Let's all close our eyes. We'll just let go, or at least tell ourselves in this moment, we're allowed to let go. We'll use these next 25 minutes as an opportunity to simply connect with ourselves, tune into our inside world. day has 23 and a half hours left where you can be fully involved with the outside world. So let's just take this half, half an hour and commit to listening in and tuning in to our systems inside. Nice way to do this is to start with the breath. So through our nose, we'll take long, gentle inhales. And through our nose, we'll take long, gentle exhales. Sometimes I like to visualize what it would look like to see the little particles of air coming into my nose, into my lungs, to the edges of my lungs, and then into my bloodstream and I imagine this blood, this oxygenated blood going right into my toes or my fingertips. Imagine yourself breathing into the depths of your body. As you breathe into the depths of your body, let's bring our awareness to our sit muscles or our tailbone. We'll feel ourselves rooted and connected on the earth. Then from this place, let's get long and tall in the spine, let's lengthen, let's lift our chin. Let's be open and free. Let's breathe long and deep. Relax our eyes. And as we align to this beautiful posture, let's ask ourselves, what more in our body can we shift to find that optimal body position? A lot of times we lean forward, so that brings our heart past our sacrum. So maybe we'll move back a little bit and align our heart with our, with our sacrum and our sit muscles. And then sometimes we even stick our head forward. So let's now bring our head back in line with our heart. Lift our chin. How does that feel in your system? Breathe into it. And have doing these movements created tension elsewhere. Ask yourself, can you relax your hips or your thighs a little bit more? Breathe soft. Good. 
Beautiful. Breathe long and steady, nice and soft. Beautiful. Let's slowly lower our right ear to our right shoulder. Do gentle little rocky motions with your head. And notice how your left ear left side of your neck responds, these little micro movements. Slowly lower our chin all the way down to our chest. We'll just hang out here. Again, lengthen the spine. This isn't an opportunity to round forward, but let's Lengthen and allow our head to soften forward. So we can show the blades back slightly. And then again, let's rock our head a little bit. Let's do small little micro movements. Breathing soft. And let's bring our left ear to our left shoulder. And again, I invite you to bring in small little micro movements, rocking your neck slightly. Bring our head back to center. Place our palms together at our heart center. Lengthen the spine. Inhale, take your arms out wide. Raise your arms above your head. Bring your palms to touch. And as you exhale, let's flow to the right. Place our right hand on the ground beside us. Allow your left hip to soften and lengthen in your left side body. Lift your left shoulder up and back and breathe. On our next inhale, let's breathe in deep and raise back to center. As you exhale, flow to the left. Lower your left hand down, nice and long in that right side body. Inhale back to center, bring your palms over your head. Exhaling to the right. Lowering your right hand to the ground, getting long to the side. And we're going to speed this motion up, slowing back and forth. So inhale to center, bring your palms above your head. Exhale, flow to the left. Left hand down. Inhale to center. Smile at the top. Exhale, flow to the right. Let's flow back and forth like this at our own pace bringing fluidity into the body. Remember to breathe. Very nice, let's come back to center. And exhale our hands to our heart center. Very nice. Let's look forward onto our hands and knees. So our palms firmly on the ground with our wrists underneath our elbows and our elbows underneath our shoulders, knees underneath your hips and a hip width distance apart. We'll tuck our toes under. We'll press our Tailbone to the back of the room and our crown to the front of the room. 
This is our tabletop position. Inhale. As you exhale, let's lift our right knee off the ground and press our right heel towards the back of the group, lengthening through our leg. Drop your right hip slightly to keep your hips level if you feel like your hip is lifted. Very nice. Inhale. As you exhale, we'll lower our left knee back to the ground. Inhale. As you exhale, lift your left knee off the ground, press your left heel to the back of the root. Nice and long to the spine, press the crown of your head to the front of the root. Breathe soft. Inhale. As you exhale, we'll lower our left knee back to the ground. Find balance. Inhale. As you exhale, once again, we'll lift our right knee off the ground, press our right heel to the back of the room. Staying here, or we'll flow our weight into our right arm and stretch our left arm out in front of us. Lengthen from heel to fingertips, breathe, soften at the heart. Beautiful. Inhale. And as you exhale, lower back to your tabletop. Find center, we'll find balance. We'll inhale. And on our exhale, we'll press our left heel towards the back of the room. Getting nice and long to that leg, and then we'll, we feel like it will stretch our right arm out in front of us. Lengthen and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, let's lower back down to the ground. And let's lower down into our child's pose. Flow your bum towards your ankles, stretch your arms out in front of us. Take your knees out nice and wide if you'd like. It makes it a little easier on the hip. Lower your forehead all the way to the mat or as far as it comfortably comes down. Just breathe in our child's pose. Rise back up into our tabletop. Slowly moving back to our tabletop. What we'll do is we'll step our right foot in between our hands. Just bring your right foot up in between your hands. Bring your left knee back a little bit so your left, left thigh is on a nice diagonal. Put your chin and your chest to the sky. And then from here, Begin to bend your left knee a little more to take the sole of your left foot towards the ceiling. This is far enough for you. Enjoy it. If you want to go a little further, take your right hand, reach back, grab onto your right ankle, and lift your right shoulder to the sky. This is a beautiful high stretch in the morning. Lift your right shoulder, gaze to the ceiling. Be nice and soft. Inhale, as you exhale, we'll lower back down, lowering our left foot to the ground and our right hand back to the ground as well. Lift our chin and our chest to the sky. Inhale, as you exhale, draw your hips to the back of the room as you begin to straighten your front leg. Keep your toes grounded and round forward as your left or your right hamstring lengthens. Breath soft, body soft. Nice. Now next inhale, let's flow forward, flow our hips forward, flow our right knee forward, lift our chin and our chest to the sky. Beautiful. Let's lift our left knee off the ground and let's step our left leg or right leg back to a high plank. 
and we'll draw our bottom of the sky for our downward dog. Moving, adjusting, so you can find a comfortable downward dog. So bent knees here. Feel your palms rooted into the earth, feel your toes grounding you. And breathe a few soft breaths. Again, enjoy having bent knees and make any little micro movements in your hips that you feel will provide comfort for you. Beautiful. Bend your knees and look forward. Then step your left foot in between your hands. If your left foot doesn't quite make it, you can always grab with your left hand and help it. We'll lower our right knee to the earth. We'll lift our chin and our chest to the sky. Beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, I wanted to go the other, the other side this time. So what we'll do is we'll just step our right foot forward into a standing forward bend. We'll bend our knees, we'll look forward, and we'll step our left leg back. We'll lower our left knees to the ground. There we go. Beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little confused this morning. Let's come back into our standing forward bend. Then our knees will be looked forward. We'll bring our right foot back. We'll lower our right knee to the ground. There we go. This is how we were the first time. Wonderful. Hmm. Very nice. Take a few soft breaths. Okay. Now let's bend our right knee a little more so we take the sole of our right foot to the sky. Show you that thigh stretch. If we want to go a little further, we'll reach our left hand back, grab onto our right foot, and lift our left shoulder to the sky. There we go. Beautiful. Mm. Breath soft, body soft. Lift that left shoulder a little higher. Close your eyes and breathe. Inhale. As you exhale, release your right foot back to the ground. Release your left hand to the ground. Lift your chin and your chest to the sky. Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to straighten our front legs, straightening our left legs. We draw our hips to the back of the room. Keep your toes grounded as you round forward. Straighten that leg, that front leg, a little more. Inhale, so as you inhale, let's flow forward, so our hips forward, so our knees forward. And let's step our right leg forward, the standing forward then. Bend your knees, place your fingertips on the ground. And once you bend your knees, begin to lift your bum a little higher. And from here, let's slowly walk our hands over to the left. Slowly walk our hands over to the right. Let's come back to center. And let's bend our knees a little more. Let's begin to rise up. Raise all the way up. Flowing our intention through our center line. Bring our arms over our head. And we'll exhale our hands to our heart center. Beautiful. And our inhale, let's take our arms out right wide. Raise our arms above our head. Exhale, let's lower our palms to our heart center. Let's step our right leg back. Step your right leg back as far as you comfortably can. Spin your left heel in. 
lower your left heel or your right heel to the ground. We'll twist our hips to the right. We'll stretch our arms out nice and wide. We'll keep our right leg straight and we'll bend forward at the left knee into our warrior, warrior two position. Beautiful. Flowing that front knee forward, keeping that back leg straight. Inhale. And as you exhale, we'll flow into our exalted warrior, lowering our right hand to the back of our right leg and lifting your left hand up and over. This inhale will flow back to center. And then we'll pivot and flow to the left. So as we do so, bring your hands to your heart center, straighten your front leg, then turn your right toes in 45 degrees and turn your left toes out 90 degrees. Now we'll have a straight left leg and we'll flow forward into that right knee. Put your arms out nice and wide and we've just reversed our warrior. Beautiful. Again, once you find your balance, close your eyes and soften in. Let's exalt our warrior. Let's lower our left hand to the back of our left leg. Take our right hand up and over. Nice and soft. Beautiful. Flow back into our warrior. Let's pivot our hips forward to face forward. Lift our left heel up off the ground. Then step our left leg forward to the front of our mat. Beautiful. From here we'll inhale, take our arms out wide. We'll raise our arms above our head. We'll exhale and swan dive into a standing forward bend. Bend our knees, we'll look forward, placing our fingertips on the ground. Step our right leg back. We'll step our left leg back into a high plank, high push up. Pressing through the heels, pressing through the crown of your head. Knowing you can always lower your knees if you'd like. Just hold this for a moment. Inhale. As you exhale, let's lower all the way down, touching your knees to the earth. Slowly lowering our chin and our chest all the way to the earth. And let's flow into a sphinx posture. So to do so, we'll place our elbows, our forearms, and our palms on the ground, having our elbows stacked under our shoulders. And we'll draw our shoulder blades back. We'll lift our chin and our chest up to the sky. We'll draw the, our inner thighs in towards our midline and we'll breathe nice and soft here. No force. Inhale. As you exhale, we'll gently lower back down to the earth. We'll rest one cheek on the ground and we'll take a few soft breaths. And from here, we'll slowly roll onto our spine, roll onto our back, spread out nice and wide. Take a few moments and melt into Shavasana. Shavasana, resting posture. So from here, let's commit to a few long, soft breaths. Let's feel ourselves just melt again.
slowly bend our knees into our chest. Give ourselves a nice big morning squeeze. Slowly roll over to the right. Make our way into a seated position. We'll finish this practice together. Let's see our palms at our heart center. Let's take a moment to thank ourselves for being here this morning, for showing up. No matter what state we were in, no matter what mindset, we made it here, we got to the mat. Maybe it was easy for us, maybe it was a little harder for us. We're here, we practice. So gratitude for myself, that's gratitude for you. One love. Namaste. <sighs> Again, thanks for joining us, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's practice. My name is Kevin. This is the Sunrise Yoga Project. Doing yoga every day will change your life. 25 minutes is all you need. Thank you for sharing these 25 minutes with me. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share with family or friends and spread the yoga love. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.